Hey guys, it's Crafting Corbin here, back with another Minecraft video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Minecraft automatic farm. This farm uses a farmer villager and harvests all of any type that you have of crops. So like wheat, carrots, potatoes, and beetroots. This is a the inside is 15 by 15, the outside is 16 by 16. So you will need these resources. Five stacks of powered rails, one stack of rails, 20 hoppers, two chests, 32 blocks of redstone, stack of four stacks of any type of seeds, you can have one stack of seeds, one stack of beetroot seeds, one stack of carrots and potatoes, or they could all be the same. Plus you will need additional for giving to the villager. So add on like another stack of these. Next you'll need a, three stacks of your block of choice. I have stone. And for the detail that you want above the surface will be your other block of choice. I chose block of quartz. So two blocks of quartz, one stack of glass panes, eight, 16 water buckets, 16 oak trap doors, one villager, one composter, one bed, and one hoe. You'll need a 16 by 18 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 blocks. By the way, this will be 1, 2, 3 blocks deep, including this. There's 3 blocks. It will be 3 blocks tall. This will be above the surface. Okay, let's start. Let's start with the collecting system. Your two chests, hopper, come to the other side, hopper, going all the way down this trench, Usually, I would check to make sure the hoppers work, so if I were to place one in a weird spot. There we go. So, you don't need your hoppers anymore. Now, you'll need your redstone blocks. Um, three out, or four out, from this wall. One, two, three, four. Dig another trench. Dig another trench, same, leave this open because this will be the wall. And this will also be the wall. Now on the other side, one, two, three, four. Replace with redstone blocks, same on the other side, redstone blocks. Now you're done with that. You may end up with four extra because I did 16, but this is a 15 by 15. Next, you'll need your powered rails and your rails. You want to start by placing two here, two here. I'm sorry for the confusion. Um, uh, on there, you have two here. Okay. Now, 
place in your powered rails. Your rails again, powered rails. And so on. So once all of this is placed in, what it will do is you'll have a minecart with hoppers. So I forgot to mention that you're going to need eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, you're going to need seven minecart hoppers. which I forgot to put in the chest. And that will be the collection system. Now that I'm done, we want to build up the walls. Use, if you're building this underground, you'll probably already have walls here, but if you're building above the ground, like if you're stacking them on top of each other, which you can do, it's really easy. One wall, two. This wall will not be seen, and it will be covered. But if you're going to build, uh, if this is underground, then you can have any block you would like. If you're stacking them on top of each other, probably go with the material you're going to use. Now, you don't need your stone anymore. You will need uh, four stacks of dirt, which I also forgot to get four stacks of dirt and fill it all in Make sure to leave a gap right here so you can put your minecarts in. Now, after you got your dirt done, grab seven mine carts with a hopper, place them all on the tracks. I would leave an opening right here for you to get in. There we go. You can fill this back in. Now you don't need your dirt, stone, or your minecarts. Now you'll need your quartz and your gloss paint. Place all Place one layer of quartz all the way around. Your glass pane or 
if you want to just not want to see it inside, you can always put a block to fill in that. So instead of glass bean, you can replace that with quartz. But I want to see inside. So I'm going to place around with glass and then another layer of quartz right above that. After that's done, now what you want to do is in each corner, remove the block and place two around it, up above. Destroy, place, place, place. Okay, sorry about that. Something outside. Now you want to get your water buckets. Place in each corner your water. Head to the middle. Should be the exact middle. There we go. Now grab your trapdoors. Destroy that. Now you can replace all of this dirt. Or you don't have to, but I like to replace this dirt right around here with my block of choice because these will be covered but one block but there's also these covering to add a little detail now do this to all sides trap door water block block destroy Same to all. Now, placing trapdoors and water. 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 By the way, be careful when you are doing this because you could end up with water spilling into the tracks, which will destroy it. I'm gonna change these to quartz. I know I didn't change these ones, but it's fine. Place blocks above all of these so the villager can't get out or jump on top. Oops. Like this, so there's a one gap, and the water is touching this dirt and so it will water everything. Also make sure to water the middle ones too. Perfect. Now with the middle you can go around top layer with your block of choice. And then fill it all in. No more quartz needed, buckets, or trapdoors. Also, I would recommend putting a light source. I'm going to use sea lanterns. Place them in all of the corners of the, the roof corners.
There we go. And that lights it up all, including in the middle. It'll light up right here. Grab your bed composter. And there you go. Grab your hoe and hoe it up. There, now once that's all done, they should all start turning to a dark brown color. Now you can place in um, either one type of seeds or four different types of seeds everywhere. Now you can put in beetroots right next to the wheat seeds. And then your carrots. And then your potatoes. There, now it's all filled in. You can place in your villager now. What you can do is go right above the bed destroy this block and lure your villager in and destroy a block out so he can fall down and not destroy any of the crops grab your villager and if he has a different thing make sure to remove the other thing and place down your composter and he'll automatically change. There, now you don't need a villager or your hoe anymore. And what you still need to do is grab a half stack of each of these since it can only hold up to I think it was uh, uh, two stacks or four stacks of material anyway you can drop those all to them should pick them up Unless this picked it up. Yeah, it picked up some. But now, that's it. That's how you make your own iMac for. So, if you guys like this, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Now, I'll continue making more of these types of videos. And, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Bye.